What's going on YouTube? Um, I decided to make this video because I'm not having any luck on eBay. Um, my last Emacs I sold, um, somebody off of actually YouTube bought it from me, so it worked out pretty good. Um, I am selling three vehicles. I'm selling my X01, my HPI Sprint 2, and my Emacs Brushless. So I figure I'd just do a video, maybe help me out a little. So uh, I need to get these sold. And I need to make some room and just other things I need to get. So, I mean, uh, I'm done with the Emacs. You know, I'm over it. So, yeah, I'll start off with the Emacs and the upgrades it has. It comes with, with these uh, Traxxas uh, races, racing um, tires. Um, it's got some a little wear down, but about 75% left. It's still pretty good. Uh, drive shafts are great. Um, this body I did, it's a Ford F-250 uh, body. I did the black all around, it's pretty nice, brand new. I did it and then, you know, I made it just to sell it with it, so it looks pretty freaking good. Never drove it once with it, just to try it out. So, there you go, brand new F-250 Pro-Line body. Uh, next we'll move on. Um, it's got the aluminum chassis by FLM. There you go. All aluminum. It's got um, RPM purple skid plates. And with the shocks, it's got integer aluminum shocks. Piggyback shocks, I'm sorry. Um, the, I think these shocks are great. They lasted me like two years now and they're still going strong. Um, on my other Emacs, I had the regular big bore shocks from... Traxxas and I actually like these better so um, that's why I ended up keeping it on this truck because I wanted them um, it comes with NTG um, bulkheads aluminum bulkheads front and rear um, <clears throat> what I'm throwing into is two sky lipo batteries 40c 80c burst 4000 milliamp 11 volt two 11 volt sky lipo batteries uh, for nothing I'm just throwing them in because I'm not going to need the hard cases anymore and I figure, you know, it'll help me sell the truck, so without it's got RPM bumper just the front bumper, not the rear, it's got RPM uh, shock towers um, I think that's it, I did waterproof the ESC, so the ESC is waterproof, I did it with um, liquid tape I opened it up and I waterproofed it up, so that's pretty waterproof, I wouldn't soak it or submerge it in water but it's pretty water resistant so if you want to go through puddles and stuff or snow it's pretty good um but i'll say that's it it does come with um i don't have them out here i have extra rpm arms um it comes with the with the whaley bar and everything so i don't have the stuff out here right now but it does come with other accessories um, actually I have, that's right, I put titanium pins in here to hold the A-arms. I have extra of those too. Um, throwing those in for nothing. <sighs> but yeah, no receiver, no transmitter, so you have to get that to run this bad boy. But otherwise, that is it. It's in pretty good condition. I take care of my cars and my trucks and everything, so. I mean, look at this, you get Nice Emacs with a brand new body. That's what is that aluminum chassis? Let me tell you, you can bash the shit out of this thing, and nothing will not break on this thing. It, it's pretty durable. The only thing that oh yeah, I did have the steel center dry shafts too that come with the FLM um, chassis. So that's that in the center plate. So let's move on to uh, my HPI Sprint 2. Um, if you watch my videos, um a basher, I'm off-road guy. I decided to try on-road, so I ended up buying a Sprint 2, try it out. I did this body. Body's in pretty mint condition. Um, when I painted it, I messed up, so it wasn't from crashing or nothing. It's just my horrible paint job. Actually, I do pretty good paint jobs on bodies, but for some reason, I messed up on this one, so. So I did the silver lights in the, in the front. Um, it's got nice street tires here. Um, actually, I gotta go inside and get the body. There is 
other accessories I am selling with this. Okay, let me open it up though. Alright, so when I got this, the, the belt was pretty loose. So I ended up putting in a new belt. Front and rear belt is brand new on this thing. So you don't have to worry about that. Usually these cars come with a Vapor ESC from each um, Castle Creations. Um, I decided... it. Alright, this is what happened. I bought this used off of eBay. And um, <clears throat> the second battery I put in this thing... The ESC just won't work anymore. Anymore shut off. So I decided to put in a. I know I go a little extreme. I put in a Mamba Max Pro ESC. This thing can take up to six L. It's a great ESC. I am throwing it in with this. It's yours. Um, I'm selling this thing for two twenty five. And um, I'm sorry, not two twenty five. Two ten. Two hundred and ten bucks. This is yours. Um, $20 shipping so there is absolutely nothing wrong with this um, like I said you need transmitter and receiver with it and I am throwing in a two cell lipo battery a sky lipo battery uh, I think it is a 30C 60C burst I'm like sitting on the floor here and there's all little look at this all little ants crawling everywhere so I'm trying to move out the way <laughs> alright so I mean everything, so this ESC right here is like brand new too, just to let you guys know. But it's it's a very fast car, I tell you that. You throw a two cell in this thing, this thing is flying. So, um, 210 bucks, uh, $20 shipping to yours, and I forgot to tell you the price for my truck. This is uh, 560 560 I have it up for. Um, $30 shipping, that is yours. So, um, yeah, let me uh, get back to you. I just want to get the accessories for this for what you right, get back. back. Alright, this is what's coming with the car. When I bought this car, the guy gave me the Mustang, the Sprint 2 Mustang. And he gave me, uh, hold on, it's all these. And he gave me a saline Mustang body. And then when I had this car, I did the Corvette. And I did the Chrysler 300. Let's see. I think it looks the same. Hold on, guys. What's up? Man, I try and match the gold, but didn't match too well. And that's my car. So, um, <clears throat> let me grab that. So I got the, the Chrysler 300 body. And with this, no, <laughs> I'm pretty funny. There you go. You got the 22s, baby. Look at the wheel difference. Freaking a lot bigger. So you're gonna get. Let me tell you, th these tires were like 50 bucks. So I'm throwing this in too. By the way, I drove with them one time, once. I used it once. I decided to make. Uh, I bought this car. I was like, ah, I want to dress up my car as my car. So, but I don't have 22s. I just have 20s. But these are like 22s in scale form. So, again, the Chrysler 300 body. You get the four 22 inch rims. Yeah, and these tires are actually brand new. I think I did one run with them because I never drove this car. And as you can tell, I never did a video of it either because I don't do on road. And you get these for it. You get this set. You get this set, and whatever's on the car. So you get the Corvette body, price of three hundred, all the wheels, and this for two hundred and ten bucks with twenty dollars shipping. The car is yours. So um, email me or hit me up on. Uh, YouTube, if you want to PM me, let me know. So you got all these bodies and everything. Put this back on. And we're going to take a look at the body. Look at that. What's up? This is sick, son. What's up? What's up? What's up? Okay. Now for the last. Yes, I decided to sell my X01. I think since I had this car, I drove it like five times. I did like one or two videos of it. This thing just sat on my shelf and collect dust. So I'm like, I can use this money towards this quad I want to make. I'm building this awesome quad, so I need like a lot of money for it. So to do FPV and all that. So 
you know what, I'm going to put the money to use. Instead of just sitting on my shelf, just collecting dust. Yeah, it's cool to have an X01, but yeah, life goes on, right? So, let me just show you. This body is like brand new. This car is in mint condition. Look at this. There is no scratches whatsoever. Yeah. No scratches. Brand new body. Okay. It's got extra parts because I cracked the underneath. If you bottom out just a little bit, you cracked the underneath. So I had to buy the underneath part. This is the one I need. I needed the other side. That's why I have this. This comes on stock, but when you want to do 100 miles an hour, you put the, the, the front spoiler on. Um, I got the extended battery connectors. I didn't even put them on. This is so if you want to put bigger batteries on, that comes in with the, the thing. And you will get not a two channel, but a four channel TQI transmitter with the dock and base. Okay? It's a four channel that I got with my Summit that I don't use. My, it's not a Summit anymore. It's an, e, it's an e Revo truck now. So that's useless to have. So I'm putting that with the X01 and I'll show you underneath. I just want to show you how clean and how like brand new this thing looks. Take the shell off. Okay, there you go. There it is. Look how clean that is. Yeah, I really drove it. <laughs> Fucking thing's brand new. Excuse my language. You know, a little worn down on tires, but, you know, tires are still great. Everything's still good on this thing. Never crashed it, nothing. This thing is in mint condition. Um... It comes out, you know, I'll throw in the big 30 tooth pinion or not, the 100 mile an hour pinion. Yeah, that comes with it. The pinion I have in here is a 23 because I never put the 100 mile an hour pinion in it because I didn't want to go 100 miles an hour because it's just pointless for me. Um, I decided to, uh, this pinion that's in it now, the 23, it hits 80 miles an hour, which is perfect. You do 100, and I like to drive around, so you use 100 and drive around, you're going to overheat the motor. So I figured that the 23 tooth pinion smack in the middle. It still does 80 miles an hour, and I was happy with that. And it's perfect to drive around. You don't get any ho overheat problems. It's just a perfect setup, I think. And I'll still throw in the 100 mile an hour pinion that comes with it. And I did upgrade the servo. It doesn't usually comes with a 2075 Traxxas servo. I threw in my old, not my old, but it's a brand new servo I never even used before. I took it out right away out of my Savage Flux. It's the SF50 um, Metal Gear High Torque HPI servo that was in my Savage Flux. Um, I put a Savic servo in it, so this was sitting around, and this has twice the torque that the Traxxas servo has. So I put it in it, and let me tell you, it works a lot better. So I decided to do that, and that's it. Um, but yeah, there you go, there you have it. I am selling this car for $650. You are getting, but the only thing is, no batteries. No batteries with the, with the XL1. $650, you get almost a brand new XL1, upgraded servo, um, extra pinions, cause brand new, you get extra parts, you get the extended battery thing, and you get a four channel, not a two channel, but a four channel transmitter for $650. So, um, there you have it. And if you're interested and you wanted me to change the connectors, let's say you don't use Traxxas connectors, you use those red ones, the connectors that I use. Um, let's see. Let's say you use these connectors, the HXT 4mm connectors. I will solder them on for you if you want. So if you have any batteries that you, you know, you use and you don't use the Traxxas, let me know. Or whatever. So, but there you have it. That's my X01. Put the cover back on. Look at that. Brand new. Thing is sweet. It's, it's a beautiful car, I tell you that right now. It is a beautiful looking car. It drives nice. Yes, I will miss it, but I didn't drive it. I'd rather give it to somebody that somebody will put it to use, and I'd rather put that money to use to something else I'm going to really enjoy. So that's it. There you have it. There are my cars. You got the X01. 650. Um, I was going to do um, no free shipping, $25 shipping, 
$650. Right here you got the Emacs 560, $30 shipping. And then you got the little guy here for $210, $20 shipping. So um, you guys want to write to me, hit me up if you guys are interested in these cars. Um, don't even bother if you're going to try to lowball me and try to lower the price a little. I'm not going to lower the price. This is the lowest I'm going. I think these are great prices for these cars. And you're not going to get any lower. So there you have it. Hit me up if you're interested. And that's it, guys. Peace out.